Is your pump just not pushing out the capacity of water it once did? Are you seeing a loss of pressure? Well, did you know that one of the amazing benefits to owning a Burks pump is that you can adjust it? This shouldn't be necessary for many years, but as time goes on, you can compensate for water wear by adjusting the impeller. There's no need to take apart the pump, replace parts, or disturb your piping. We're going to show you how. We estimate that this repair should only take 15 minutes. We give it two out of four screwdrivers on our difficulty scale. To do this, you will need a 5 16 size socket or wrench, a small screwdriver or Allen wrench, and a spanner wrench, our part number pump 100. Before making the adjustment, be sure the power to the pump is shut off. Do not attempt to make any adjustment with the pump still running. Close to the motor, you'll notice an adjusting screw. It's gold in color and has a number of holes in it. Loosen the slide lock and remove the tab from the hole. Taking a spanner wrench, you will turn the adjusting screw. At the same time, rotate the shaft back and forth by putting a nail or small screwdriver through the hole in the shaft. Rotate the adjusting screw clockwise. As the impeller comes close to the raceway, you'll feel a drag. At this point, you will mark the pump frame and the adjusting screw right across the spanner wrench holes. Now, you're going to turn the adjusting screw counterclockwise to back the impeller off and provide some space between the impeller and raceway. This is a very minor turn. You are only going to move it half the distance between the mark spanner wrench holes. Replace your slide lock to the nearest screw hole and tighten the lock screw. Turn the power supply back on and start the pump. If it's still laboring, you may need to make another slight adjustment to get the perfect clearance. To do this, follow the steps we just went through. Still have questions or need additional parts? Visit us at cleanersupply.com. We're here to help.